Loop Cloud's player isn't just a device for listening to different sounds in the app, but actually a comprehensive tool for editing samples, complete with multi-track functionality and automatable effects. Before we get to those areas though, I'm just going to show you the basics when it comes to editing and creating patterns and loops with the editor. I've done a search for vocal one-shots and I've made them nice and short, bringing the length down in the filters section. This one's nice. If I need to re-pitch it, I can use the transpose dial here. Or to have it re-pitched to the key of the song that I'm making, say, I can use the key lock option and choose the key below. Whilst the octave button goes up and down in octaves. And you can then use the pattern menu to sequence the one shot into an arpeggio, for example, with a ton of basic minor triad presets now. Or maybe a chord pattern with some effects applied. And then export it out as a loop straight into your door. Replacing that sample with a drum loop now, it keeps the pattern the same. So we're hearing that loop with the same editing applied now. To hear the original drum loop, I can just hit the reset button. And now I'll use the editor tools to make some of my own changes. Firstly, you can zoom in and out with the buttons, with a zoom to fit button at the start there, or you can click on the bar ruler and drag up and down with the mouse. Also, as this is quite a long loop, I'll bring the loop end marker to the start of bar two. So we've just got a one bar section to work with. Let's chop the sample up a bit now then with the slice tool. I do this just by clicking on the waveform to create slices. Now going back to the pointer, I have a separate slice that I can work with by simply selecting and deleting for instance with the delete key on my keyboard. All editing is completely non-destructive so you can always get back what you're chopping out by dragging the edges. A quicker way of slicing is just to hold down the Alt key, which brings up the slice tool temporarily, saving me from having to change it manually when I want to make some quick chops. Another option can also be to mute slices, which you can do by double clicking them. Fades can be added to the start or end of slices by dragging the top corners, Slices can be made to play backwards with the reverse tool. And the scrub tool can choose a different part of the sample for a slice to play. The volume of a slice can be brought up and down by dragging the top. Then exporting out the current mix with the button will drag a one bar loop with all my edits into the door. Now let's work with a pluck one shot to see how easy it is to create your own pattern for it. To duplicate a slice, I can right click and choose duplicate or use the keyboard shortcut, command or control and D, or I can just hold down the command key and drag out slices like so. Undoing that though, if I switch to the pencil tool, this can be a great way of creating a quick pattern by clicking on different steps in the grid. Holding and dragging with the pencil creates longer slices. And I can maybe trim a few to make them shorter. And adjust levels so we get more of a groove happening. and add some fades. And now the re-pitch tool allows you to transpose individual slices to different notes for creating a melodic pattern, like with the arpeggios we heard a moment ago. Then 
if you want to save a pattern, you can choose that option from the pattern menu, or just hit Command or Control and S and type a name. You can then instantly recall that pattern at any point when working with a sound by choosing it from the user presets list, which creates an instant loop with your pattern with any sample in the app. So just a quick intro to the editor there, and hopefully you can see how powerful a tool it is for easily creating cool and interesting loops with your samples.